British clergyman John Mitchell, the forgotten pioneer of black holes. Ekring, England, almost 200 years before black holes were accepted by the scientific community, a British clergyman named John Mitchell made remarkable predictions about these enigmatic cosmic objects using only Newtonian laws. Mitchell's work, published in the 18th century, was surprisingly ahead of its time, yet his contributions have largely been forgotten. Born in 1724 in Ekring, England, John Mitchell was the son of Gilbert Mitchell, the parish rector. Educated at home, Mitchell quickly gained a reputation for his keen intellect. He pursued his studies at Cambridge University, where he spent over 20 years exploring various disciplines including Hebrew, Greek, arithmetic, theology, and geology. Mitchell's experimentalist nature led him to construct his own scientific apparatus, turning his rooms at Queen's College into a workshop. In 1750, Mitchell published a paper on magnetism introducing the inverse square law which advanced the use of magnets in navigation. He also made significant contributions to the understanding of earthquakes, describing the Earth's stratified layers and demonstrating how seismic waves move through them. His work on estimating the epicenter of the Lisbon earthquake of 1755 was groundbreaking. After leaving Cambridge in 1764, Mitchell became the parish rector in Thornhill, Yorkshire. Despite his clerical duties, he maintained correspondence with prominent intellectuals of the time, including Benjamin Franklin. Mitchell's scientific pursuits continued, and in 1767, he was the first to apply statistical methods to the study of star clusters, concluding that their formation was due to gravitational attraction. In 1783, Mitchell published a paper hypothesizing about the nature of gravity and light. He speculated that the most massive stars could have such strong gravitational fields that they would prevent their own light from escaping, effectively making them invisible. This concept, remarkably close to the modern understanding of black holes, was a product of his application of Newtonian physics. Despite his pioneering ideas, Mitchell's work fell into obscurity, overshadowed by the shift towards the wave theory of light and the reluctance of 20th century physicists to accept the existence of black holes. It was only in the latter half of the 20th century that his contributions were rediscovered and appreciated. Mitchell's independence and commitment to intellectual freedom meant he published sparingly and pursued scientific problems based on personal interest rather than popular demand. This, combined with his multifaceted career as a clergyman and scientist, contributed to his relative obscurity. John Mitchell passed away on April 21, 1793, at the age of 68. Today. His work is recognized for its remarkable foresight and scientific imagination. His early theories about gravitationally invisible stars laid the groundwork for the modern understanding of black holes, demonstrating that even in the 18th century, there were minds capable of imagining the vast and mysterious universe we continue to explore. That's all for now from Space Mentent. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media for the latest Space Earth and science updates around the clock.